Good day, Good day. YouTube. <laughs> Jean Paul, the Thank Rhino. You. We've got a smutty nose. Smutty nose. We've got some smutty nose. Homunculus, humunculus, homunculus. Turn homunculus. that back around for a second. Homunculus. Homunculus. Yeah, like Roger the something homunculus. Roger the homunculus. Yeah, from Hellboy. It basically it means little person. Homunculus. Yeah, I would have thought it meant huge person. No, little person. Okay. Well, shit. What do I know? Humongous means big. Maybe I'm misreading it. So that's your midget beer. I would guess this is homunculus. H O M U N C U L U S. Homunculus. Little people. Anyway, Sorry. little person, as you see, there's sperm. Sperm, With humans. faces going towards Sailors. an egg. That's actually them full grown. He says little people. Yes, yes. Yeah. I, think think that's more, I think that's more a bottom of a beer bottle than it is an egg. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like an egg to me. It's chat of the year right there. <laughs> yes, yes. I know it's supposed to be a beer bottle. They can't put a fucking egg on there, but that's what it's meant to be. It's symbolizing an egg. It's the semen going to the egg. Yeah, I understand that, but it's a bottom of a beer bottle. <laughs> Anyway, it's uh, anyway. brewed and bottled by Smutty Nose Brewing Company in Portsmouth, Ohio. Portsmouth, Ohio. Yep. Right on. The Smutty Nose Big Beer Series. It's a big beer. It is a uh, Belgian-style golden ale. And there's no ABV anywhere on here. 5%. <laughs> why, why do you think it's 5%? Because it's a 5 cent deposit, right? And 5 cents is 5% of a dollar, therefore... It seems to me as though it says 5% right on it. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. No, it's probably not. Anyway. Let's drink and find out. If I fall yeah. over, it's 15. Let's drink some smutty nose. Smutty nose. I like the name of the thing, the brewery, I guess. What's the actual name of the beer? Homunculus? Or Homunculus smutty nose. Which means little people? Yeah. I didn't bring my phone, otherwise I'd look this up right now. Are you sure that it would mean like when the uh, sperm's going into the egg? Since that's what the photo is? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I think homunculus is a noun describing maybe not a large person, maybe like a, like a for your beer. Type of, all right, like a Frank, like a like an assembled person, like a golem. Mm. But I don't know. I only have a contextual understanding of the word, which I think is wrong because Chad thinks it means little people. But no dictionary results for homunculus. Are you spelling it right? Okay, you got one there. Yep. Artificially made dwarf. So you were right. <laughs> And I was only really partially right. Because <laughs> I did say they were like put together like a gold. You right? did, yeah. It's, uh, it's actually on tape. <laughs> a fully formed miniature human body, believed according to some medieval theories of the 16th and 17th century, to be contained of the... S in the spermatozoon. Okay, so they're saying that there's a little person in the sperm. Yeah, a diminutive human being and a human fetus. <laughs> But it's, it's just, also an artificially made dwarf, supposedly produced in a flask by an alchemist. Yeah, okay, there we go. So there you go. So in reality, <laughs> all of us were right on some small, <laughs> on some small level. level. Combined, right. we would have made it correct. Chad was more right than any of us. Yeah. And you but, were less wrong than me <laughs> by a lot. <laughs> it has a very, very fruity oh, nose yeah, and yeasty. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, fruity yeah. and yeasty. Fruity, what kind of fruit would you say? Because I'm kind of detecting like a lemon, almost. Maybe On the nose, lime. it smelt like an, like apple, but you're right. Taste-wise, it's citrus. I'd say probably lemon or lime. Okay. And then the yeast is is like that. Uh, the yeast is that slightly uh, overpowering. Yeah, but that's the thing finish. that's making my face go all crazy. Yeah. All right. That's the homunculus. Homunculus. <sighs> it's not bad. That's uh, very fruity, very yeasty. There is a very long-lasting bitter finish. Yeah, it's got a rubbing alcohol thing going on right at the end. Yeah, Don't but you think? right at the very end. Right at the very and end. And that so makes me think it's probably an eight or higher percent alcohol. Yeah. Okay. I'll look it up later and put well, it. You know I'll what? post if it I in the description. Drink this pretty fast, and we'd find out. Because <laughs> if it was five percent, it wouldn't really bother. We're gonna pass this bottle over this way and let the OV man try it while we're talking. But I mean, it's easy drinking. In the fact that it's not, it's it's soft, yeah. it's smooth, it goes down easy. Sure, it makes your face pucker up a little bit, but... Yeah, and the ending kicks my ass, man, I gotta say. I couldn't drink more than, like, a pint of this. I mean, I'd drink the pint and I wouldn't even really, like, order it again, you know? Like, <laughs> well, it says it's a Belgian, Belgian-style gold, and it tastes just like a lot of Belgian beers. It has that Belgian... Belgian beer, Belgian... like Stella, right? Stella is a Belgian beer? 
Stella Artois. Stella is the Labatt of Belgium. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> it is a Belgian beer, right? Labatt is a Canadian beer. Stella is a. Okay, it is Perhaps from we... Belgium. Okay. Belgium, yes. Right. But no, I would not consider it a Belgian beer. Okay. Because I would it's consider not done it, in that style. I would consider it a macro piece of shit. Really? It's bad. Yes. People love that shit, though. People who people who know beer even say no. People say who know beer, beer don't love it. Really? I say I don't know anything about beer, but whatever. The strings of my shorts are going down my leg and hanging out to my ankle. Anyway, <laughs> to thine ankle, <laughs> to thine ankle. <laughs> Behold, <laughs> this is the first muddy nose I've ever had, and I don't mind it. You know what? It's more than five percent because I'm already mm -hmm. a little fucked up from it, and uh, just a little. And you know what? That based based on that alone, I would probably get this again. Now that it's gotten me a little bit fucked up. It tastes like a Belgian triple. That's what it tastes like. A triple. So a triple fermented, very yeasty. I was thinking like a quintuple. Very. So. What's a triple? <laughs> What's a triple is what I need to say. What's a triple? It's like eight percent alcohol usually, and it's triple fermented. It's bottle fermented. It's okay. it's heavier on the yeast, yeah, heavier yeah. on the fruit aromas, mm -hmm. fruit taste. It's it's basically like a triple to me. The Fin du Monde is triple fermented, right? Yes. Okay. I love that beer. It's like a wine. But you see what I mean where I'm yes. saying this is like that? It's right. like a triple? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. I wouldn't drink more than one bottle. I would buy it again, but I would never try and drink a second bottle of it. And I probably wouldn't buy it unless I'm sharing it with somebody. Because there's no way I'd want to drink the whole bottle myself. How about for yourself? I would give it a 6. You're because really I really don't like it. It gets me fucked up. <laughs> and I like that. So that'll give it six points. But Alrighty. Taste-wise, it's terrible. Seven point five from the Rhino, six from Jean Paul. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Fire con Dios. I'm not doing it. You can just hit stop.